morning, Good morning everybody. everybody. Welcome to Wake Up Missoula. My name is Noel McFoy. And I'm Scott Ramp. And I said everybody instead of everyone, so we didn't match up. No. That's funny. Oh, that's well, that bad. was... It's, it's ruined. We had to start over. We can't. We had to quit. We had to just stop. Like, we're, we're back from we our week-long hiatus. Yes, yes. And that was Asaph Adonai on piano with that lovely intro this morning. Thank you, Asaph. That is called Chopsticks. Nice. Today is Chopsticks' birthday. Cool. Written, How old are they? Eight, written in 1877. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. So you guys do the math. So. <laughs> yeah. But we're back after a week long yes. hiatus. Last week was our zombie filmmaking workshop for ages 13 to yes. 19 or 13 to 18. We, our age range was pretty much like 12 to 15. Yep, and there were a lot of shoots. Celtic Fest was over the weekend as mm -hmm. well on Friday and Saturday, all day at Cares Park. Yeah. Um, of course, we have a lot to show for you guys today, but first, we want to tell you guys about the weather. And what's going on with the weather is it's been warm the last couple days, and it's starting to slightly cool off, but of course, you can still expect a nice, warm, hot, uh, low hot temperatures. I like to call it the low hot part of the week. <laughs> um, you can have your high of 83 today. It's 49 degrees outside. If you guys went outside today and noticed that it's pro a little colder than it has been, then it's true. It's not that hot. But of course tonight, your low is going to be 50. Um, Tuesday, there is a fire weather watch, so it is the perfect conditions for fire season to come mm -hmm. about. Of course, we had that little rain a couple weeks ago that helped, um, um, I guess the uh, the phrase would be, um, I guess hold off on the fires? Yeah, something? yeah, really, really subdue our fires. Uh, we've been pretty lucky this summer that we haven't been enveloped in smoke, but I think with these warmer temperatures and the month of August, we'll probably be seeing some more fires soon. Mm -hmm. And of course it's Monday and I do want to give a little notice to some a little bit of the roads report. So of course I went on to the City of Missoula's website, um, ci.missoula.mt.us so where you can find out all your information about what the City of Missoula is doing in, cur in terms of current and uh, future perspectives of road construction, uh, politics, um, future projects and current projects. But of course, I'm just going to go over them really quickly. Um, there's the annual chip and seal program. So if you guys have any potholes that need to be filled, you guys can log on to the website um, and you can basically send an email and say, hey, there's a pothole on this particular street. Could you fill it? And then, of course, they come down and fill it. That's it's, great. I filled. I filled out one of those things. Nice. The first time. I was just like, all right. So on this one street, and it's like the entranceway into my um, my apartment complex. Mm -hmm. It's like there's this huge like hole, and I've hit it like umpteen times, mm -hmm. and I haven't. And then for some reason, it's gone now. It's nice. like and mysteriously, it mysteriously vanished. Sweet. I don't know if it was me or somebody else, but it, like literally, I didn't know how long it took. It maybe oh. like a week, less than a week, and then it's like gone. It's like it, I. Sort of God, there's like a people at the department who are just like uh, chip and seal program. He's just like obsessed. He's like waiting by the phone. It's like, <laughs> yes, I'll yes. be right there. It's like, it's like uh, the first responders. I think it's great. <laughs> I'm glad that they do it. I wish that they would fix the tunnel between the north side and um, going to downtown on Orange Street because that tunnel's got a bunch of potholes and it's really rocky under there. Maybe but, you should send a request in. But I also, they would have to, I don't know. I was thinking about well, that. Well, if it's just a chip and seal thing, they all they would do is just use uh, recycled asphalt and then mm -hmm. stuff those holes. That's, and they can fix the streets later in their major, any kind of major That's pretty much all they need to do. But of yeah, course, uh, that's one of the things they're doing. Uh, there's Brook Street, Highway 93. The State Highway Department will be doing a resurfacing project on Reserve Street to Lolo. Ooh, uh, there are rain reductions, of course, expect delays. Um, of course, considerable it, delays. Yes, but of course, they're just going from a double lane to a single lane. You know, just like you know, four lane to two lane type of deal. Um, there's 39th Street reserved to Russell, and of course, uh, that already happened, and it's still kind of continuing and going on. There's Hillview Way, the big, huge SID project that they're working on, is still continuing. Um, that should be basically going on until like September. Um, there's South Fifth <coughs> West and South Sixth West. Mm -hmm. And it's adjacent side um, street between Orange and Higgins. The city has started a curb and sidewalk project upgrade. Um, there's South Avenue at 33rd Street. South will be closed at the intersection for installation of a roundabout. So they're going to put more roundabouts. And of course, um, um, what's his face? Oh, why'd you do a close-up of me? I don't know. Why not? Oh, whatever. <laughs> uh, it's not Tales from the Weekend yet. But um, the the, uh, the thing is, um, let's see. 
Uh, oh, wait, wait, Bob Giordano would be happy because he's all about those roundabouts. That's what I wanted to say before I heard this. <laughs> Easily distracted Scott Ramp for Wake Up Missoula. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, you can find out more information by logging on to the City of Missoula's website, um, www.ci.missoula.mt.us, and you can find out more information about Wake Up Missoula by logging on to wakeupmissoula.wix.com slash wakeupmissoula. So nice we made you write it out twice. You can see past videos and more. Of course, this is our past video from Friday, from two weeks ago. Yep. Um, you can follow us on our Facebook page, and you can see the zombie movie that we made. I posted it on our Facebook page, and of course, many other social media that you can watch as well as uh, following us on Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. Uh, Missoula Community Access Television also has a Twitter. You can follow us at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook and to find out more information about us, just check us out on MCAT.org. Yes. And of course, um, all summer camps are over. Yes. All the summer camps have wrapped themselves mm -hmm. up. And Our four uh, weeks. Uh, before we show this clip, uh, I just want to tell that the public hours are back to our regular summer hours. So between Tuesday through Thursday, MCAT is open to the public from 1 to 8, mm -hmm. and of course Friday is 1 to 5, and then by September we're going to have a whole brand new hourly kind of system. Not only are we not, um, we're going to be, it, it's going to be weird, it, I, I call this the, um, I don't know, it's uh, maybe like a, I don't know how, I, there's no right way of saying this, it's like because uh, we have all these after school programs MCAT does for mm -hmm. a lot of the schools, we're going to try to figure out a way to do like a, a chunk schedule mm -hmm. in a way so we open at 11 for the producers and then we close like at uh, 2. Mm -hmm. So it's like from 11 to 2 or maybe even 10 to 2 for like a 4 hour blo block right there and then close up until like um, 5, 5.30 and then come back for the last like couple hours. I think so that's a great idea. I mean, it's, a, we'll that, I feel like that it's like you know cat. how some restaurants have a lunch rush. Yeah. We, we so we'll, I mean we still haven't really figured it out yet because um, the, the schedule is going to be changing, and of course I'm going to be taking up uh, an extra day uh, as public producer hours here at MCAT. Um, so it's going to be basically me and Christian switching off between Tuesday, Thursday, and Wednesdays and Fridays. So it's going to be based on his schedule. Mm. Yep. Sounds difficult. Yeah, I don't want to follow Christian. He should but follow me. Keep updated. We'll keep you guys posted about our hours and when they come into fruition. But mm -hmm. it's still summer. Yep. And of course, if you guys haven't checked out uh, our uh, zombie movie, it is all over the internet. Um, you can check it out. It's for free. It's a nice um, week-long summer camp uh, with in part with Rooted Studios, who helped us with the makeup design for our zombies slash uh, some of our flesh wounds and they helped us um, yeah. keep, they taught us how to use some um, liquid latex which I thought was pretty neat. It is pretty cool. Yeah. And of course the scene I'm setting up for you guys is a scene from the movie Afternoon of the Living Dead. Uh, uh, that's the title of our zombie movie camp and here's the scene where one of their leader has been bit and they have to decide whether or not uh, who's going to go pick up uh, a bag that was left behind. Without further ado, here is a little uh, taste of what you guys can check out online anytime. Bleeding's getting worse. I'm fine. Hey Mel, would you leave that duffel? You said there's some aspirin in it, didn't you? Just up that way. Not far. You can't just leave the duffel out there. That would mean all of this was for nothing. You can go get it. It wouldn't be necessary, because, I mean, what if we find the dugout? You're scared. I'm not. I mean, I'd just be the cost benefit of... <laughs> you sound like my father. I'll do it. No, 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 no. You're such a pansy. You know what? Fine, I'll do it. Okay, and you can check that out on MCAT.org, um, of course, oh wait, MCAT.org, it should be online, of course, yeah, and you can you Facebook. find it on our YouTube channel as well, mm -hmm. as the full video. It's nice, little short, yeah, uh, thing, 12 minutes and 50 seconds. One thing I was happy about, though, is the name of the movie, Afternoon of the Living Dead, was um, my idea, and they all voted on it, and Kate wanted it, and I was well, really pleased. 
Let me um, let me put a uh, thumbtack in yeah, your tire. Yeah, how about you just stop? How, how about you not no, put no, a thumbtack no. in your bike tire? I'm gonna put a thumbtack in I'm gonna put a thumbtack in. Yeah, but why do you want to do that to me? How about how about you just leave it at that and we move on? Let's do that. Okay, now let's you guys, just do that. We've got some events uh, oh. with me. Well, I do want to show a clip because I want to do. Oh, never mind. Clip. We're showing clips. What yes, are you showing clips um, of, Scott? I have some um, art clip. I just do want cool. to show this art clip really quickly um, because it's uh, it features uh, the 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 Zach the Zootown Arts Community. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can never remember. Zootown Arts Community Center. Community Center, yeah. Yep. Uh, so this is going to be there until the 6th of August, which is, it'll be ending this week. So I want to highlight this, and then of course I have a bunch of music stuff as well for later in the show. But um, when we come back, we'll have events with Noel. I've got some community events for you for Monday. Um, as always, on Monday, there are always lots of little camps going on. So uh, we've got a couple camps over at uh, Ruth Sacro Sports Center. Our first one is uh, Preschool Camp Down with Dinosaurs. Starts at 9 a.m. 9 a.m. This is for ages 3 to 5. Um, they have half days and full days. Half days from 9 to noon, a full day is from 9 to 3.30. Um, and then, so, of course you have to pre-register, but they also have walk-in rates. So if you want to walk in for a half-day camp, it's $109, but the space is not guaranteed. And if you want to walk in for a full-day camp, it's $185, but the space is not guaranteed. Mm-mm, not guaranteed. They also have a, a gymnastics-themed camp that starts at 9. They have their half-day from um, 9 to noon, and then full-day is 9 to 3.30 as well. Um, and then that's also half day is 109 and full day is $185. But space is also not guaranteed. And then their last <laughs> camp is their performing arts camp. Sorry, I think that's really funny. <laughs> it is funny. But at least you can have the option of walking in rather than other camps where you show up and they're like, who are you? Wait, Can't hold on. Here. I'm sorry. I, I have yes, to, Scott, what do I, you have to? I have to um, what do you need to say? I just want to go to these things and just like laugh. When they, when they say space is not guaranteed, I was like, space is not guaranteed! He's like a random old guy. Yeah, that'd be terrible. Some uh, That happened to me yesterday. I was really... Space is not guaranteed as I rubbed my belly. Yeah. Space is not guaranteed! <laughs> <laughs> but that's like, I don't know, that's so that's funny. That's so creepy, yeah. That's yeah. really funny. Yeah. <laughs> and then all of a sudden they're, it just the room starts spinning and all they hear is space is not guaranteed. <laughs> and it's just like you just see Scott and he's like <laughs> and it fades to black. And then That'd I'm be, just like, everybody dies someday. <laughs> That'd be a terrifying movie. <laughs> Let's, I need uh, uh, We're gonna I need make a overalls. Short movie. I need yeah. overalls. You, do, now. you need overalls. Yeah, yeah. I gotta set an and like a for some straw overalls. Hat. All right. I'm uh, that's all I had. To, I'm not gonna repeat. We're that. gonna make this short video. Yeah. <laughs> everybody <laughs> dies, and everybody's not guaranteed to get into this camp. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to make Monday fun. Yeah, Monday's great. Yeah, Monday's a lot better, <laughs> except week. for the whole everybody, everyone. Um, 
mess up line, but we can we can re-edit that. That's true. We can yeah, re-edit we didn't even plan that. Yeah. <laughs> okay, moving on. All right, so there's another camp for little ones, ages four to eleven. It's a yoga and mindfulness camp. Starts at nine thirty. Uh, nine thirty three day or nine thirty to three thirty is a full day, and it's one hundred eighty five dollars. You can call 406-239-9642 to see if there's still space. It's not guaranteed. (laughs) But it's not guaranteed. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Okay, so then we've got our kids' table at the library at the Missoula Public Library at 1130. This is where they give a free lunch to anyone ages 18 years and younger. And we actually took our summer camps to this last last week, and it was pretty good. I thought it was funny because um, it's like, when you guys are done eating, you could go um, lay on on um, fro- frozen uh, Elsa's face. Yeah, they, yeah, they had like a little corner. So they had a lunch, they had tables, they had a little corner of like pillows and blankets, and then they had a little activity. And by kids, they mean like li- they're like little, little kids. kids. We were the only group that actually brought like older kids. Yeah. There, there's like a, there's like a ten year age gap between our kids and those. Kids. It was really funny. It was so hilarious. they like set up activities, and all of our kids are teenagers, and I was just like, you guys want to do walked, an activity? And they walked out there, and I was like, who forgot their milk? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it was really funny. Little cuties. But yeah, it's actually a really awesome program. They have food free. You yeah. know, they have like lunches and fruit. Sandwiches. Or sandwiches and fruit, fruit. and chips. The and peaches were delicious. Yeah. yeah. I had one of the kids take a peach for me. Oh, nice. And then I ate it. Yeah. And it was delicious. And then I saw myself eating a peach on one of their short movies, and I looked like a Hulk and gorilla eating peach. <laughs> I was like, no, you didn't. But you yeah, didn't see that video. It's Mm-hmm. They had little uh, blankets and pillows for kids to nap on afterward, and they had activities, and I thought it was really nice. So it's a good place to go to. It's downstairs in their large meeting room. Yeah. 11.30. Yeah. Okay. We're moving on again. We're going over to uh, Moscow Monday at Montgomery Distillery at noon. This is where a dollar from each cocktail sold will go to a different nonprofit in the Missoula area. We've got our bridge group at the Senior Center at 1 o'clock. That's the Beginner's Brush Up group. And then Duplicate Bridge is at the Garden City Bridge Club, also at 1 o'clock. Um, they have open games four times per week, Monday, Wednesday, Friday from 1 to 4.30, Tuesday from 6.30 to 10. And then they have an intermediate game on Mondays from 6.15 and 9.15. And I'm thinking these are all in the afternoon, but Bridge Group is always associated with older people, so I feel like it could be at 6 in the morning. I hope not. Uh, over at Zootown Arts Community Center, they've got a music tech camp. So it's at 1 o'clock. And so the campers will find will learn about instrument setup, amplifiers, effects, microphones, and more. They'll go over to the Top Hat Lounge and actually witness a live mic check and a sound check. <laughs> and then it's taught by uh, local professionals. What's seen- funny now, Scott? Have you seen our sound check? No. It's so boring. I know. <laughs> These kids are going to love it. But I think that music tech camp is a good idea because oh, yeah. music tech like will be around forever. Like They're always needing music oh, yeah. people. And it would be fun. You know, you can see some sweet bands. So it's good to do. It's a good camp. But yeah, sound check is boring. Oh, yeah. It, really it's boring. very tedious. You need a mic on every little thing. Mm-hmm. If you're going to do any like pr- the professional sound check stuff, you have to have a microphone on the tiny little um, snare. Uh, not the tiny little yeah, snare. Yeah, the drums. On every drum, every instrument. Even if they have musician. like a little, uh, um, like a little crash bell. cymbal. Mm-hmm. A cra- you know, those little crash cymbals that yeah. they sometimes have. They have to have a mic for those. And they have to have not only mics, they have those special mics that clip on to the instrument itself. It is ridiculously extensive. It sounds so hard. Yeah. Yeah. And so kids get to learn that, which <laughs> either they can be really bored or they can have a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. But if they don't want to do that, they could just stay at the Zach and do puppet theater camp. <gasps> oh. Right? <laughs> Scott like that. Scott's going to do that. Do you guys I like that? all the nerdy stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, puppet. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not guaranteed. So they're going to. A puppet for every kid. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to design and build their own puppets as well as a stage set. They're also going to write their own puppet show and perform it for an audience on the last day of class. And that actually sounds really fun. Like, I, I would do that. I want to see that. Yeah. I want to go. Great, I can't wait. Um, at the public library, they've got a le- computer electronics in their makerspace. It starts at three. You can go in there and try out their various electronic platforms and work on a project of your choice until six o'clock. Word play is at the base of the warehouse mall at four. It is word games, poetic exploration, and free writing. Cool. 
Raising the Dead is uh, at the top at Lounge at 5. The live record shows the Grateful Dead from the 60s, 70s, 80s, and 90s from 5 to 7. Service Industry Night is at Plonk at 6 o'clock. They have, uh, if you work in the service industry, they have a special menu for uh, that has deals on appetizers and drinks. Oh my gosh. Okay, this next one is great. The Bear Bait Dance Season Launch Party. So Bear Bait Dance is coming up with their new season of the year. So at the Roxy Theater tonight at 6. Um, it's open house style, so they're gonna, you can swing by and meet the company members. You can get a sneak peek of their new um, film that they made. And they're they're also going to launch Kinetoscope online. Over at Red Willow Center at 6.30, they've got a class called The Law of Attraction. And so you can learn what it is and what it is not. It's $25. You can call 360-7864 for more information about that. Yeah. And it looks like that's my last event for today. So switching gears now, we're going to Musical Notes with ASAP Out and I. Well, before I start this musical notes, Scott and Noel, as I mentioned earlier, I enjoyed the week off. Uh huh. And of course, you, Noel, in particular. I started missing both of you guys. For sure, we missed you too. <laughs> yeah, time. around yeah. Thursday, you know. So I'm glad to be back. And as I mentioned before I start this, today, June 1st, 1877, for the trivia bus watching this show, it's Chopsticks' birthday. That part was written back then. <laughs> So I just wanted to share that bit of trivia. Nice. Anyway, my first story on the week after the week off. <laughs> Before there was Julianne and Margalitas, known to the world as Nurse Carol Hathaway on ER, there was our guest, the sassy blonde head nurse, sexy with a hot pair of lips, affectionately Major Margaret Hot Lips Houlihan. Loretta Jane Swit. There she is, known to the world as Loretta Swit. And um, Loretta Swit is an American stage and television actress for her character roles, probably one of the best female character roles in history. She's, of course, best portraying Major Hot Lips Houlihan on the MASH television series where she won two Emmys. There she is again. And we got a video clip of her as a younger woman before that series came out. And uh, I don't know if we can hear the sound, but I'll, I can narrate what's going on. She, what she's doing is um, she's a grieving widow and she's extorting money from this guy here, her attorney, because the attorney was, had kidnapped her daughter. And so he's fussing with her saying, well, we brought her back after we kidnapped her. So now Loretta yeah. Swit is going to ask for $200,000 in cash. Good. I hope and she the gets attorney it. gets ticked off. So this is what this scene is about here. And she, she sticks it to him before um, McGarrett and the rest of the gang from Hawaii Five-O go after both of them. So <laughs> there's a small little clip of her acting. But anyway, um, anyway, she graduated from Pope Pius VII High School in 1955. And she studied drama with Jean Frankel in Manhattan, New York after graduation. And in an... Um, she did some theater work. She did a tour in 1967 with a national company called Any Wednesday. Unusual name, but that was it. And of course, um, that same year she did some on Broadway opposite Ted Basil from the television show That Girl with Marlo Thomas. You know, if you remember that show. But she hit her stride in 1972 with, of course, M-A-S-H, M -A -S -H. and she inherited the role from actress Sally Kellerman, who played in the feature film, and Loretta Swit got the uh, television role. And then after MASH ended, she played a detective, as we're looking at here, on a television show called Cagney and Lacey, and then when they did the television version, Tyne Daly and Sharon Glass were the stars, but um, Loretta Swit did the original pilot to that. and. Uh, then she appeared in some other television shows like The Love Boat as she began to get a little bit older. Match Game with Gene Rayburn. She appeared in The Muppet Show, Hollywood Squares with Peter Marshall. And finally, as far as awards, not only did she get the two Emmy Awards, but in 1991, she got what's called the Sarah Sitton Award for her work in Chicago theater. And there she is, an older lady now. And she also received her Hollywood Walk of Fame in 1989. So. As I said, to conclude this story, she's one of the best female character actresses of the past. And this here, this 
picture here is called Memorable Entertainment Television, MeTV for short, where they show all the old television shows, including her show, MASH, and Lost in Space, and, and all the rest of those, Gilligan's Island, all those shows from the past. But she will always be remembered for playing Hot Lips Houlihan. <laughs> On MASH, huh? On MASH, Was she yeah. there the whole season? Yeah, she did all 11 seasons of that. Cool. She, she and Alan Alda were... Were the only ones pretty much there. And then the actor, um, William Christopher, that played the priest, he's the only other one that was on there all 11 Wow, season. that's pretty awesome, though, to have a pretty consistent job for 11 years, huh? Sweet gig, yeah, yeah. you're an actress. Yeah, not too bad. Yeah, and so, speaking of hot, yeah. uh, we had a uh, Red Hot Chili Pipers come in. Um, they are a um, big they're pipe bag rock. rock band. Yeah, they're called Bag Rock. Big so rock. they're from Scotland, Red Hot Chili Pipers. They came over the weekend was Celtic Fest, and so they came performed two nights, Friday and Saturday night at Celtic Fest. Yep, so and Scott I filmed Saturday night, awesome. and I got an awesome clip of show showcasing some of a lot of their talents from the cool. band. And without further ado, uh, here is a little taste of the Red Hot Chili Pipers. And when we come back, we'll continue events with Noel. Red Hot Chili Pipers 
I always wonder if they've met the Red Hot Chili Peppers and how they feel about their name. <laughs> <laughs> they've maybe done some collaborations or something. <laughs> okay, we're moving along and these are events for tomorrow. So starting at 9 a.m. over at Dickinson Lifelong Learning Center, they've got uh, computer fundamentals, beginning computer fundamentals. So you'll learn about hardware, software, operating systems, internet, email, security, and file management. Yeah, from 9 to 12, it's $89. Uh, over at the Children's Museum of Missoula, they've got this thing called Body Bubble. It starts at 10 a.m. tomorrow, and on their event page, it said that the Body Bubble was repaired, and it'll be out tomorrow. I don't know what that means, but I'm very intrigued. So check it out. Over at Frenchtown Pond State Park, over the West Picnic Shelter, they've got a uh, Junior Ranger program. So uh, tomorrow, they're going to be learning about bison, Native American cultures, and pictographs. Pretty cool. Over at Frenchtown Pond State Park at 11 to 12.30, also from 1 to 2.30, is uh, only $4 to $5, and there are paddleboard lessons. Yeah, and it's an hour and a half lessons. So they provide all the equipment. You just pay 45 bucks and come for the fun. That sounds like a great time. Over at the Roxy Theater, they've got a movie tomorrow at 11. Um, it's called Castle in the Sky. This is another classic film from the 90s that is a cartoon for children that is anime as well. Um, so it's about two orphans, one with a levitation stone, search for the lost treasure and the key to their past in a legendary floating city. Sounds pretty cool. <laughs> they get levitation stone later on. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, over the historical museum at Fort Missoula, they've got kids' activities from 11 to 12 and 3 to 4 all summer long. And then we have our kids' table at the library, at Missoula Public Library at 11, so free food for anyone ages 18 and under. And then over at Karis Park tomorrow, starting at noon, is Missoula's first annual Reggae on the River. So what it is, is a day of community fun and river cleanup with a special performance by legendary reggae artist, Pato Banton. Pato Banton? I don't know. But, so at noon, they're gonna have kids activities, food vendors, and alcoholic beverages. There's also gonna be a free river shuttle service. And all participants who filled one river bag of garbage will receive a free ticket to uh, Pato Banton's special evening performance. Sweet. Over at the Missoula Public Library, they have a summer studio creating art journals. Um, so let's see, they're gonna, you have to bring a blank composition book to class, open to ages those uh, 13 and up, space is limited. The space is not guaranteed. It's not guaranteed. <laughs> so just call us 721-2665 and it's from 12 to 2 tomorrow. Also at the public library, they've got their open hours in their makerspace starting from 3.30 until 6. Over the Learning Center at Red Willow is Yoga Warriors at 4, the specific yoga program designed for veterans and their caregivers to help with PTSD, sleeping problems, and help lower anxiety. The Missoula Farmer's Market Tuesday night is over the Red X's at 5.30. And then we have Yoga in the Parks at the Missoula Parks and Rec, a put on by the Missoula Park and Parks and Rec. Starts at 6 o'clock. It's going to be held at McCormick Park tomorrow. <clears throat> We've got our picking circle at the Top Hat Lounge at 6. This is for bluegrass-oriented musicians to come down and jam in front of the sound booth in the raised seating area. At Imagination Brewing Company is traditional Irish music with the Crashers and Friends, starts at 6. Community Creative Writing Workshop is at the Public Library, also at 6 o'clock. And then a system check is at 6.30, also at the Public Library. This is the official gamers club for ages 19 and under. They have all these board games, card games, video games. Probably everyone is just standing around playing Pokemon Go. Who knows? At the Senior Center, there's an African dance class at 7. This is $10 per class, $35 for four classes. You can drop in anytime. And then my last event is uh, the Barn Movement Studio has their ULA class at 7. So it's from 7 to 8 uh, every Tuesday and is $4 per person or 20 bucks a month for unlimited access to all ULA classes. So as always, you guys, you guys can check out MissoulaEvents.net, University of Montana website, The Missoulian and The Independent for more events going on in your community. Yeah. yeah, but that's what I've got. Yeah, that's, what I've got. Yeah. that's what's going on in, uh, for today and tomorrow. Yeah. yeah, lots of things, lots of kids' activities, and as Scott mentioned earlier, it's going to be hot, so lots of chances for you guys to get outside, but also stay indoors and cool down. 
Normally, I like to be outside, but I decided today that I'm going to stay indoors <laughs> and cool down. Because I went floating yesterday, you guys, and I was on the river for four hours. And today, my face hurts. It's like tight and really like, <laughs> really, it's just like it was yesterday, like sun beaten and wind beaten. Yeah, and yesterday was, uh, it, it's been a while, but it was the first day I really got a chance to just have a one-on-one -on -one day with my mom. Oh, you know, how it was, was a, It was a mother's good? Sunday. How was And uh, I just went over to my mom's, I mean, my parents' place, you know, I, I always do that once in a while, just say hi, what's going on, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. hang out, whatever, use their Wi-Fi. Uh, <laughs> use their Wi-Fi. <laughs> and um, I, I asked her, I was like, are we gonna actually like, do this lunch thing because I wanted to, get, you know, take you out to lunch and do all this stuff. And then she's just like, "Hey, I found a gift card," and like, That's right. and of Scott course, she's card. she's like a like an angrier female version of me. <laughs> <laughs> I believe that. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, uh, <laughs> okay, Sorry, settle down, just... people. Um, <laughs> So, uh, no, she, she never watched the show. No, yeah, she didn't even care. <laughs> My mom she probably get a chuckle out of this. Anyways, uh, she <laughs> said she found a gift card to the trailhead. And I'm just like, I never go to trailhead. It's like, the trailhead. So it's, like, it's like, where's the trailhead? It's like, oh, it's downtown. It's like, oh, I'm, I go downtown all the time. And I don't go to, and like, 90% of the stores here in town. Because everything's like expensive. Yeah. I like, yeah. order everything online. <laughs> it's true, yeah. <laughs> and even if I do find something, like, I, I look for it online. And I can find it for, like... 20% of the uh -huh. retail price of it's the store. So Anyways, I got a gift card, and it turned out that this car gift card was a $100 gift card. And I was just like, oh, free money. Okay, I guess we can go, even though I didn't really want to go. I was just yeah. like, you, and there's like, mom, you can just use it to buy like a purse, like maybe like half of a purse, or maybe yeah. like a quarter of a purse. Buy there. a quarter of a purse from the trailhead, yeah. Because like, I looked at a purse, and it's like $249 for a purse. Yeah. Nothing I can afford. Yeah, but it's probably even way, it was, and that's a trailhead. Yeah, yeah. Like it's, it's, so it's like a bag that you take on the trail. Right. I don't know. Anyways, um, you put stuff. <laughs> you put your children in there. But yeah, I, I, I went there. We, uh, uh, and I got a shirt, pants, and this water bottle. That's a nice water bottle. It is a nice water bottle. Camelback water bottles are really nice. Yeah, and that'll last. Like you can probably like that could. Drop it's like um, you fine. make a, it's commercial. <laughs> Camelback. It does hold water, so, you know, whatever. <laughs> so, whatever. <laughs> I'd be, like, the worst person to make commercials. You really would, yeah. Um, <laughs> Tyrama. You need tires to drive your car, right? <laughs> <laughs> we should make a bunch of fake commercials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> What's your next one? Uh, Papa John's. Um... <laughs> Everybody likes pizza, right? <laughs> <laughs> really funny. Oh okay. yeah. Really good. Uh, but I do have tales from the weekend, and it, I'm gonna because it, it's, it's pretty serious. Oh, okay. But it's not so too let's... serious. Uh, it, it's tales from the weekend. It's, it's basically it could be serious based on how I tell it. I could tell in in like in my it's not guaranteed voice. I can just talk like this whole time. But I just want to get through this. Um, it's it's a little longer than my usual stories because I really got into it. Oh and, wow! Um, okay. Cool. I wrote this last night uh, before I went to bed. Um, and I, you know, like when I set up the studio and all this stuff early in the morning, so I didn't have to set up in the morning. Mm -hmm. All right. Anyways, okay. here it is. It's yeah. called Nice Nikki. That's dope. And it's not a, like something you can find on a website that you know, adult website. Anyways, <laughs> it's like the worst thing ever. I probably shouldn't have said that. Good morning, everybody. And this I love is <laughs> live TV is so fun, especially when no one's monitoring. Uh... Sometimes Joel watches, but not always. <laughs> I probably shouldn't have said anything beyond that. I it doesn't even matter. I really just like yeah. People love us. <laughs> <laughs> pew, pew. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, the story begins <laughs> with one of the more liked and respected people I've ever made up, and that is Nice Nikki. But don't let that name fool you. This story is about to shatter your perceptive perspective on what it means to be naughty or nice. Uh-oh. <laughs> totally as an adult. <laughs> it, okay. Uh, anyways, Nikki was a college girl who was favorite among her study buddies because of her baked goods. She would always bring something new and delicious to the table, literally and figuratively. Uh, her study buddies would become accustomed to this so much she began to lose sight of why she was even going to college. What? With a major start in biochemistry to psychology, acting to music, and finally trying to 
anything to get that Bachelor of Arts degree, but a, a degree would never come to Nikki, to nice Nikki. One day, she looked at her balance of student loans and discovered that she had spent more in her four years than most graduates going for their masters. Nikki decided to drop out of college with nothing more than debt as proof she went there. As the prologue to her life had ended, she began to look inside for her inner strength and talents, and with a little help from her parents, she was able to open up her own catering business. <laughs> uh, at first, it seemed like things were going well for Nice Nikki and her humbly named um, Nice Nikki's Baked Goods and Catering Company. As time would tell, Nikki's dreams would soon turn into a living nightmare. Oh! As wedding season approached, Nikki, nice Nikki saw this as an opportunity to launch her business in the city's bridal fair. She'd work day in and day out to get samples of cakes and other fun treats ready just in time for the fair. Um, when the day arrived, Nikki was super nervous and excited to see all the familiar faces she became accustomed with during college. She knew this was her way of getting a, a leg up in the competition. Um, she would wave her old student study buddies down and they would catch up on things as they tried some of Nikki's famous study snacks. Um, one after another would come up on down to try out her samples. At the end of the fair she was so happy to have made so many people happy that her feet didn't even touch the ground on her way home. And like any high in life, the low, no matter the circumstances, came crashing down on her in the form of no one signing her customer list. What? Like people came, ate and her food, and left without signing anything. Or that's like terrible. Yeah. How could this be? She was one. She wondered uh, for an hour of sobbing and eating the second <laughs> tub of ice cream. <laughs> nice Nikki went to her social media to look her old study buddies up to get answers. And like a drunk person messaging for all the wrong reasons, she got no response. It's true. Nikki was always nice to these people. How could they ever treat another person like this? Nikki began to bake less and worry more. She gained 15 pounds in two weeks and <laughs> <laughs> saw her business, uh, sorry, it's not funny, uh, saw her business was about to go under before the bar was even set. Nice Nikki had become Negative Nicole, <laughs> with nothing to show for her business than empty dreams in the form of dusty mixers and m empty bowls. <laughs> it had become the tragic end of Nikki's dream to bring people joy through her baked goods. It wouldn't be a good story if I ended a tale of Nikki Nice like this. So I, let's recap before I reveal the epilogue of this um, truth. Um, nice Nikki would be would bring baked goods to her fellow classmates when they would study for finals or work on projects together. So much she would try to please her fellow peers, she slacked on her own scholastic obligations. Um, as the perfect example of making lemonade out of lemons, she dealt with this. She, uh, she would have it been fair to let her succeed in this story? And, you know, not necessarily. And here's why. God, Scott. Poor gal. It was maybe sometime later when she picked herself up from her failed ventures, and she got a job working as secretary for a very prestigious law firm in the county. Um, nice Nikki would always bring in baked goods for those who had stay in late and work and getting legal documentation up in time for upcoming cases and so, so on and so forth. One day, she was called into her boss's office. Nikki didn't think much of it at the time, but this was the day she was going to be let go. I know, more just bad news. Poor girl. Nice Nikki walked into her boss's office and sat down across from him. He explained that she was not fulfilling her duties as a secretary and was going to be let go. Nikki, getting the raw end out of life, decided to get mad and yell and scream at the top of her lungs. It wasn't until her boss just looked at her and stared at her, making a fool out of herself, that she realized that she finally understood who she really was. Her boss looked puzzled, like he had never seen something like this before. It's like, you know, you go someone who's like yelling and screaming, and then just stop. Her boss looked puzzled, like he had never seen something like this before, and this would, the screaming and yelling, sure, was just another day at, as a lawyer. But this look, in nice Nikki's eyes would keep this man dazed and wondering for the rest of his life. This girl is crazy. Nice Nikki, in all her struggles, finally realized that no one respected her. 
and in that moment realized that all the work she put into making people like her was not about the study snacks or that late night baked good she brought her coworkers. It was the fact that she couldn't be more than she was without others' approval. So the moral of the story of this is, no matter how much you do for others, will never amount to how much you do for yourself. Very nice, Scott. I like that. Good moral story. You guys. Okay. <laughs> He said first, I was like, whoa. First of all, Nikki gave up on her like food ventures really quickly. It's like, come on, girl. You you gotta take some more shots. You're not gonna get them all. Poor gal. I that was good, Scott. Yeah. I like that. No. Oh, nice. Aww. Well, I hope that you guys also enjoyed that. Nobody died, so we're no, all good. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> and it was an inanimate object. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. I like that. Oh, <laughs> Scott's so creative. Your mom should watch this show. <laughs> <laughs> that would know. make a good movie, a good uh, uh, Lifetime original movie. It really would. I think that you should consider writing for them. <laughs> or it Hallmark. wouldn't be Hallmark because Hallmark is always like good news, good news, good news. Yeah. Oh, here's some more good news. Oh, yeah, you have a little uh, sidestep? Oh, here's some more good news to yeah. help with your sidestep. Or else it's tragic. Yeah. Either Hallmark movies are really good news, all, all, No, all. no, they're all good. Or the new ones are nothing but good. Really? They might have been some of the old ones. Maybe that it's are, Lifetime like, movies. It's all tragic. No, Lifetime is super tragic. It's like I was. I, really I read sad. the synopsis for a Lifetime original movie the other day. I'm just like, ah, I wonder if I can make fun of Lifetime now. Yeah. And it's just it's like, oh, this one girl befriends another girl who becomes a stalker. Ah! And then it's just like you know. And then they Lifetime is more like no sense. good. No good deed goes unpunished. It's yeah. all about Lifetime. It's kind of like they're the emotional Eli Roth of movies. They're terrible. If Lifetime you've ever seen the Eli, Eli Roth movie, it's like it's all about like torture. <laughs> it's torturing people. Have you seen Hostel? Yeah. That's Eli Roth. That that's movie his style. Is horrifying. Yeah, that's his style of movies. It's like no good deed goes unpunished. And he gets tortured and he made a movie with uh, Keanu Reeves and like these two young women who basically torture him. Ew. Yeah, it's it's ridiculous. Yeah, I saw that. That was really scary. I did not like Hustle at all. It made me cringe. <laughs> but anyways, that's okay. uh, that's a little that's, that's our a, movie review. That's, that's about it. Um, it, we had a nice uh, long show. Yeah. We had we showed you a nice clip from the um from the Red Hot Chili Pipers. Um, we had um, wonderful musical notes, and of course that little nice little side note of Chopsticks anniversary. Yeah, that's cool. Eighteen seventy-seven. Huh? Wow. That's uh like a hundred and forty no one hundred thirty-nine. Yeah, yeah. That, that a long time. Melody, that's every crazy. Person starts off taking piano lessons. Is Chopsticks is what you learned. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm I'm more of a heart and soul man myself. <laughs> uh, anyways, I just like um, what I hear. Well, um, Wednesday uh, we'll have a brand new episode of Wicca Missoula. We will. Paul Marker Bullmark. Yeah. Uh, you can find out more information about Wicca Missoula by logging on to our website, wakeupmissoula.wix.com/slash <laughs> Wake Up Missoula. So nice. We made your write it out twice. You can see current videos, past videos, and more. You can like us on our Facebook page. You can follow us on our Twitter at Wake Up Missoula. You can like Missoula Community Access Television on Twitter at MCAT TV Missoula. You can like us on Facebook, and to find out more information about us, just check us out on MCAT.org. Yep, and of course, if you want to get in contact with us and be on our show, you can call us at 542-6228, otherwise known as 542-MCAT. You can also email us MCAT at MCAT.org, and we can email back and forth, and we can have a planned date. And of course, uh, this Wednesday, um, Missoula Agent Service is coming Perfect. on to talk about some of their wonderful programs. Awesome. Um, so, yeah, stay tuned for that, you guys. Check us out on Wednesday. But for Wake Up Missoula, my name is Noelle McFoy. And I'm Scott Ramph. Here's ASAP Adonai. <laughs>